Assalamualaikum everyone. So let's take a look at page 71 of your lecture notes, particularly this part, Supply and Demand Analysis of Exports and Imports. Now here we are going to understand how prices and quantities of imports and exports are determined in the world markets. Let's just focus on this left hand side first. Okay, so here what we have here is the US domestic alumni market, okay? So you know what domestic means, right? It's where the supply and demand domestically in the U.S. market for aluminium. So as you can see, this is the demand curve and the supply curve. So where the two lines intersect, you have the quantity of aluminium is in equilibrium, which is 100 millions of pounds. And this is the domestic price, $1. You're at 75 cents, which is lower than the domestic price, yeah? So when the domestic price is lower than the equilibrium, we have shortage. How much is the shortage? You just deduct here 125 minus 75, so 50. All right, so this shortage of 50 here is basically what US needs, right? Because there's excess demand. Similarly, if the excess demand is much wider at 50 cents, right? So the, ex the shortage here is 100. How do you get that? 150 minus 50. So as you can see, the lower the price below the domestic price the bigger is the shortage what shortage means is that us needs to buy it from other countries so that is why if, now if you look here on the right hand side so when we have a shortage the country needs to import as you can see earlier the shortage is 50 therefore the us needs to import 50. okay when here the shortage is 100 U.S. needs to import another 50, which means they need to import 100. So now, it starts here. What is this? This is basically the domestic price. So if you like extend this point to the amounts to be imported, this is where we have the U.S. import demand curve. Now, likewise, let's talk about what happens when the price is higher, higher than the domestic equilibrium price. As you can see earlier, $1 is the equilibrium price of aluminium. So if the price is higher than $1, here at $1.25, okay, so you can see there's a surplus, meaning excess supply, right? Excess supply, which is $1.25 minus 75. So we have a surplus of 50. And here, when the price is much higher, at $150, we have a surplus of 100. Surplus indicates that US has extra extra aluminium so they can you know export it to other countries so looking this side so when we have a surplus of 50 us is able to export 50 units of aluminium when there's a excess supply of 100 units us is able to export 100 units i'm oh, sorry 100 units here so oops sorry similarly like before if you just stretch or extend the point from the uh, domestic price to the points of export so you'll have the US export supply curve so this is basically how the US export supply and import demand curves look like okay so this is for one country US you can look at another country Canada right so same thing here right so we have the equilibrium domestic price in Canada which is 75 um, cents Okay, so this is where the point of equilibrium is. So any price lower than 70, uh, 75 cents, there's a shortage. So when there's a shortage, what it means is that the country needs to import. See? Import. Any prices higher than the equilibrium price, there's a surplus. So every time there's a surplus, the country can export. Yeah. All right. So why are we learning these two import demand and export supply curves for these two countries because we want to determine prices and quantities in the world market. So what we do now is we combine these two. We take this, we put it on top of the other country. So this is what we have. Okay, so to get the equilibrium okay, domestic price here, when we put those um, import demand and export supply curves together for both countries, here we have uh, US and Canada together where it intersects what it means is where the US import demand curve intersects 
or crosses the Canadian export supply curve, we will have the equilibrium uh, price, so which is 88 cents. So at this point E, we can see that um, this is the price at which US will import aluminium and this is the price at which Canada will export its uh, aluminium. Okay?